This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm talking very close to the camera right now because as you can hear and see, it is pouring here in St. Louis, but I'm in my car and we're about to have a very cozy, rainy thrift day. But today's video is not by myself. It's in collaboration with my friend Margot Roth. You guys have seen her on my channel before. We did a thrift swap and it was amazing. She found me so many good gems. We like mailed each other thrifted items and today we thought we would switch it up a little bit and do a new video concept where we both presented each other with three mystery outfit scenarios and then we we're going to both go into the thrift store in our separate places. She's in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I'm obviously in St. Louis and then we're going to share with you guys the pieces that we thrift for these mystery outfit scenarios. We'll put together the looks at home using some other pieces from our own wardrobes and then show you guys what we come up with. So I'm very excited to see what she thinks of the three mystery outfit scenarios I sent her way. I gave her some really good ones based off of some of her hobbies and things that she does outside of thrifting. She's a musician, she has a bakery. She She's just an all around like, very talented woman. So I gave her three different outfit scenarios to kind of fit all of these different facets of her life. So make sure to go check out Margot's video. It's linked in my description box below. I have the outfit scenarios that she sent to me and boy oh boy, they're so good. I'm so excited to thrift these. Outfit scenario number one, fall cowgirl chic. I love this because I love a cowgirl boot and I think this could go so many different ways. Mystery outfit scenario number two, Parisian brunch in autumn during fashion week. So we're gonna do definitely a like chic Parisian but with a little bit of edge for that look. And then we have mystery outfit scenario number three, which is guest at a fancy slash spooky wedding on Halloween. This one I'm really stoked for because I think we could find a really cool maybe like velvet like moody sort of fancy outfit. So let's go into the thrift store now and see if we can find some pieces for our three mystery outfit scenarios. Let's go. I just walked in and look at this bag. How cute is that? Adds to cart. I am inside the thrift store. I'm honestly not sure exactly what direction I want to go in for each look. I think it's really just going to be dependent on what I end up finding today. But I definitely know I want to start off by looking in some shoes and seeing if we can find cowgirl boots. So I was looking in the shoes and I happened upon this definitely handmade vintage reversible vest. It has polka dots on both sides and I immediately was drawn to this for the chic cowgirl look. I'm not much of a vest person, but I think the color and style of this, because it is so small, could look really pretty with even like a top like I'm wearing underneath to make it super feminine and then do, you know, a cowgirl boot with it. So this is why I love thrifting because I just found this for $2 and I feel like it's gonna inspire my whole look. So I will keep an open mind if I find anything else, but I think this could be really, really fun place to start for the chic cowgirl look. boots and they're actually my size I do like them but I pretty much already have this same pair of cowgirl boots at home I guess we found what we were looking for but I'd rather just keep my own I'm definitely feeling the vest styling right now so I think with the Parisian brunch 
fashion week outfit it would be fun to do something that's very chic but still unexpected for Paris because when I think of Paris I just think of like neutral colors like streamlined effortless chic but you throw fashion week in there and I feel like you need something a little bit extra so I would love to find like a funky vest that I could create a whole outfit around check out this vintage vest I just found it's definitely 60s or 70s um, the brand is called Pins and Needles and I think this would be so epic to style up with a pair of trousers. I love that it's in this like lime green and navy color so I think we can definitely work with this. Let's see if we can go in the trousers and find something to go with this. velvet pants i'm not sure how they're gonna fit so we're gonna have to see how they look on but i thought the blue would just go nicely with the vest i didn't find any other pants but i am gonna look through the skirts because i think it could be really cute with like a mini pleated skirt maybe an oversized button down underneath the vest so maybe we'll find a skirt <music> I didn't really find anything to go with the vest, but I did find this vintage skirt and it's like a little wrap skirt, it has a clasp on the side. For some reason this just gives me Paris vibes, so I'm just picking it up as an option and if we don't find anything to go with them, then I have at least a couple options to work with when I get home. I just found this vintage chocolate brown velvet beret. I don't love this bow here, so I think I'd take that off. Imagine it with this vest. I feel like we could do something that's very sort of Gucci with this. Maybe like a loafer and a trouser and a blouse underneath. So I think I'm going to pick up this beret. And look at that tag. I love it. Shea Sports. I actually have an outfit that this would go with but I just need to show you how amazing this jacket is it's also $60 which is way too much for a thrift store so I won't be picking it up but it is gorgeous it's a leather like short trench I don't know what you would call these it has a little waist tie so cute so on trend but not for $60. I want to take a quick break from thrifting to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace and I have been partnering for, I don't even know, months and months, and I really, really love using their platform to host my website, tailormadestyle.com, but Squarespace's platform can be optimized for whatever type of website you want to create. Through their preset templates that are completely customizable, you could create a website for your new shop, or maybe you want to share your new photography, start a blog like me, whatever type of website you want to create, Squarespace can accommodate that. I also love that it's really been easy to update my website on the go because all of Squarespace's websites are mobile optimized, so I can not only view all Squarespace websites directly from my phone, but I can also update my website wherever I am directly from my phone. Squarespace makes it super easy to create your website. I created mine in less than two hours, so if you want to join me over at Squarespace, you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch your website, you can go to squarespace.com slash tailormadestyle to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's head back to the thrift. I've now made my way over to the dresses, and we're going to try to find a good spooky Halloween wedding guest outfit. <music> I found one full length dress, this vintage gap dress. It's long sleeved velvet and this chocolate brown. So I'm thinking about belting it and just adding like some accessories to this to make it really amazing. I think that it has a lot of potential with the styling options. I found this 90s 
limited belt has this giant clasp in the front and then the chains kind of like hang down so what if i did just like a black and brown moment with this and kind of just spookified it a little bit i don't know if that's a word but we're gonna make it spooky they have a couple more dresses over here that i want to look through so i'm gonna see if there are any contenders in the shorter length dresses that can compete with this Okay, wait, I think this could be the dress. It's a midi length, like super tight dress in this eggplant purple. It has all this stitching designs on it. What I love about this is this top portion. So you can see that it has like a ruched detail here, but then under this, it has like this built-in bra, right? That's like kind of pokes out the top. So I feel like it kind of will look like a corset bustier top. This is definitely an option and this one's only $7.57. I found a couple other dress options that I'm gonna show you. First is this early 2000s, maybe late 90s blue floral dress. I think this could be really cute if I did it with some tights and some fun shoes. I think it's definitely the least sort of formal one, but I like it as an option. This is probably the most basic one I found, but it's a 90s cowl neck spaghetti strap mini dress. I think again, there's a lot of different styling options here, so I'm keeping it open. I think the last spot I might just peruse quickly are the button downs to see if there's anything that could go under either of the vests I picked up. So let's go to the button downs and then we'll try on. this new with tags probably like early 2000s mesh new york and co top i immediately was like what if i just did like a pattern smash i know it's a lot but i think if i style it in the right way it could look really cool together and very like gucci i also just found a couple like other basic tops that are unrelated to this video. So I'm gonna try everything on now and see what ends up working and then we'll take it all home and style up the three mystery scenario looks. We're gonna head home now and style up my three mystery scenario looks. I'm so excited to see how they turn out. So I have all of my items here that I picked up at the thrift store. I got this little vintage bag, vintage hat, this incredible dress. It reminds me of like Vivian Westwood or something. A vintage vest, another vintage vest, and then this probably early 2000s New York and Company top. So. I basically thrifted at least one item for each look and I'm going to take these pieces into my closet and style them up with probably a bunch of other thrifted items that I've gotten in videos past. But I was thinking of filming the outfit styling portion a little bit differently than I normally do. I thought it might be fun to actually take you guys into the process of me actually putting the looks together and maybe some of the trial and error that I usually go through when I am putting together a whole look. So the first mystery outfit scenario I'm going to tackle is the guest at a fancy slash spooky wedding on Halloween look. It doesn't look like much on the hanger, but when you get it on, it is stunning. I think we could have a really fun time accessorizing this because we can go a little bit campy for a Halloween wedding. So I was thinking I have these like full length black gloves that would be amazing with this so i think i'm gonna try that let's get this dress on and then go find the black gloves and we'll take it from there
is the top part of this not like so stunning now the long process of putting my little sausage fingers into this glove i just wore these to a murder mystery party and let me say it was just difficult to do anything and there's definitely some sort of sauce on here but we'll ignore that <laughs> this is so extra but for a, a guest at a Halloween party, I feel like this makes sense. We have this part of our outfit. Love it. I don't think I'm going to add a necklace because this neckline is so amazing. I don't want to mess it up, but I think a pretty earring would be nice. Let's head on over to my little jewelry station over here and see what we have. I have these vintage uh, 80s, probably chandelier type earrings. Let's see how these look. Ooh, I do like that. Maybe I'll try a couple different pairs real quick and you guys can let me know which one you like the best, but I kind of feel like I like these like a lot. Wedding earrings? Mm, no. 80s heart? I don't feel like this is it. I feel like these are my other option. God, I look so good in this dress. I don't know, I can't decide. I mean, my gut is to go with these because they're vintage and I like that they're black and I just really want to go with like a black, dark, spooky look. I think those are good. Let's look at shoes and then bags. So I have these shoes as option one, but I have another pair of shoes I have in mind that could also work as well. So let's go get those. Option one, shoes. I actually think these look pretty good with the length of this dress. I was a little worried the heel height wouldn't be flattering with this, but I actually think it looks pretty good. Option two, the feather kitten heels. I thought I'd like these honestly more than I do. It actually cuts my foot off and makes me look a bit short. So let's go with option one. I think we just need to find a bag now. this one better i think it looks best with the gloves it kind of like blends all in together and they're both the same kind of satin material so i feel like it's just like an extension of the glove almost so i think i'm gonna go with this one this is truly exactly what i want to wear to a fancy spooky halloween wedding it's a little bit costumey but not quite showing up in an actual costume which i love i love a little bit of drama so the gloves really change the whole look of this if i was gonna wear this just to a regular dinner i would honestly wear this exact look just without these gloves so don't be afraid to just throw in a little bit of a fun accessory because it can totally change the vibe of a look. Assuming that it is a bit chilly at this wedding, I picked up this leather and fur vintage coat. I think this is the perfect jacket to wear because you can still see the dress underneath. I could definitely see myself just like dancing the night away at a Halloween spooktacular wedding. Let me know what you think of this outfit below because I'm in love. Absolutely. On to outfit scenario number two where I got this reversible handmade vintage vest and we're going to use this for the fall cowgirl chic look. So I'm really excited to style this up because it's very different for me. I don't usually wear a ton of open vests like this but this just screams like feminine fall cowgirl chic to me. I could wear this with a dress and some boots or I can maybe do jeans and then maybe some sort of billowy blouse. First, I think we go look at my dress selection and see if there's anything in there that might work with this. I did have one dress in mind in particular. This, which is actually a nightgown. I could definitely wear a kind of Western belt to cinch it in. So I'm gonna take this as an option. This could be a fun pattern smash and I love a floral Western dress. It does feel very fall. So I'm gonna try this one out too. This is why I'm trying everything on because this looks awful together. Because it has a continuous ruffle on the front, it just does not lay right with the vest. So this is a definite no. I'm still really not sold on this because I don't like the cut of this neckline. So I think I'm gonna go with maybe a pant and a top. I really honestly think the top I was wearing yesterday might look really good. Maybe that could be cute. 
I think I'm gonna try this and then the top I wore yesterday, which is basically a long sleeve version of this top. I have a cow print pair, which I love. And I also have a pair of like dual tone brown ones. I think I'm leaning towards these just cause I think a little bit more fun to style up. We just need to find some pants to go with one of these options we have here. Here is all of my denim. I am kind of leaning towards these light wash jeans that I just got from Cotton. These are the anti-fit jeans from Cotton. I wanted to do something that was definitely more of a feminine sort of cowgirl-esque look. So I think that this definitely hits all of those points for me. Now I'm going to try on the cowgirl boots and see how it all looks together and hopefully they look good with the jeans. Cowgirl boots are on. They're not like obnoxiously cowgirl boots because I do have the jeans over them. So I think that the cow print like really goes well with everything else. Now I just need to accessorize a bit. We're going with something chic. Here are these earrings that I was thinking of. I think they look chic, right? We're already in the bags. Let's just find a bag real quick. I like the thought of doing my coach bag with this, but I'm not sure if this leather color goes with the brown in the boots. I could just do my plain black bag. I think I like the black better because I like that it has this gold detail here in the strap which kind of goes with the earrings and I think it kind of grounds the whole outfit with the shoes. Fall chic cowgirl. Love this look. I added these sunglasses on top because I feel like they kind of added a little bit of like a cool girl vibe to the outfit. This Honestly, it's maybe one of my best looks of 2021. We have the Western flare of the boots and the little vest, but we definitely have a little bit more of that chic aesthetic that we were going for with the top and the accessories. So again, accessories just make your whole look. And I'm so excited to actually wear it out now. Moving on to the final mystery outfit scenario is the Parisian brunch in autumn during fashion week. So I have three items that I thrifted, the beret, the top, and then this vest. I'm most importantly looking at this vest. I'll see if I can pair this with this. I just don't know if it'll go quite well enough. I'm feeling maybe like Gucci or Hermes sort of vibes. I think I'm gonna start with kind of what I'm going to layer under this. I have just this oversized white button down. Could be cool, it'll hang out, almost like a dress or something. This is just a pink button down. That could be really nice together. This is what we're working with so far. Now I'm going to look for some pants. I'm thinking either a trouser or a skirt. I know for sure I wanna try out, this is part of a suit, which could honestly even look amazing with the vest. This could look amazing with the vest kind of poking out underneath. So we'll definitely try that. I also forgot that I have these kind of like culotte <laughs> style pants. I also have to keep in mind that I really wanna wear this navy leather jacket that I have, so we'll have to see if it looks good with these pants, but I think we have a good place to start. Let's go look in the skirts real quick and see if I possibly have any other options. I don't only have black or like patterned ones. I think I'm gonna stick with what I have, but let's go grab that blue jacket real quick. Here is the blue leather jacket I was talking about. I just feel like this is going to look so good with the vest and it's definitely very like classy Parisian. So let's try the vest out with a couple of the bottoms that I found and see which one works the best. Here are the first pants, the khaki ones. I definitely like the fit of this. I don't think I really like these together. Something about the proportions seems very off. So I think I'm gonna stick with the other pants. Um, this is awful. Very, 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 very bad. Just a no. Here is option number two. I have the pink silk button down. I think this looks a lot better. I almost forgot that I have the beret. I'm just going with my simple gold hoops. I wear these all the time. Just something, I think, classic, chic to not detract from everything else that's going on with the look. Now I just need to figure out a shoe option. Here is shoe option number one. I have these plaid socks with these red heels. They are definitely, you know, a higher fashion version. The next option would be these Everlane white sneakers I have. I like the idea of a sneaker with this, but I think these are too chunky. Just threw the jacket on. I ended up taking the bray off because I really was just was not feeling it. Now you just need to pick out a bag. I'm almost thinking that I need something that kind of goes with the red in the shoe. So I'm leaning towards this bag that could be kind of fun with the rest of this i also have my faux dior saddlebag which is in this 
navy. Yeah, I think I like this. There you have it, my third mystery outfit scenario. Autumn brunch in Paris during fashion week. This outfit, I was a little bit worried about. You know, I wasn't quite trusting their process. I feel like the beret was really throwing me off and I felt like it was just a bit too costumey. So I'm really glad I took that off. And I think the Dior bag kind of helped make it look a little bit more high end, more fashion week. This is the outfit without the leather jacket on top. I think that it's really nice. It's still chic in Paris, but I feel like we have a little bit of edge with the sunglasses and the color and kind of like some of the pattern smashing we're doing. So that is my final look. I am honestly obsessed with this too. I think once it gets a little cooler outside, I will definitely wear this. Someone invite me to Paris fashion week now please so that is today's video guys please 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 go over to margo's video now it is linked in my description below so you can find out what three mystery outfit scenarios i gave her and see what she comes up with i'm so excited to see myself how she ends up translating these outfit ideas into something that feels very her i absolutely adore her i adore her style please go subscribe to her and watch her video and thank you margo for collaborating on this video with me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe i post videos every sunday and I'd love to see you back around here. You can also follow me over on Instagram at TaylorMade Style, also on TikTok at TaylorMade Style. And until next week, guys, bye!